Austin, are they all healthy? Well, Drysdale, who's going tonight, is uh, in good shape. His knee bothers him a little bit, but this isn't going to bother him in the ball game. Osteen's had some groin trouble, but he's all right. He hit a triple the other night and ran it out. It showed us he could run all right. And Koufax has got the arthritis, and it's going to be there with him. And, uh, and we just have to see every time he pitches just how he's going to be. We just don't know before he pitches. We just hope that everything's all right, and up till now, we've been very lucky. How much time do you spend with a pitcher before the game, John? Well, this time of the season, we don't go over them at all. They may have a couple of young kids that we don't know, but uh, Lefty Phillips will usually get together with a catcher before the game and let him know the youngsters on the roster that we don't know, and we'll discuss them. But uh, we don't go over them hardly at all anymore. Just the first series, our first time around the league at the first of the year, we have meetings on each club and discuss them. And after that, it's just the catcher and the pitcher that go over them, if they go over them at all. And you, John Roseburg, you're not uh, taking batting practice yet, are you? I took uh, about eight or ten swings today. I got a new contraption on my bat to try to help me, well, try to keep me from throwing it so far. It's a little thing that you can't let it fly, uh, flick out of your hands. It sticks to your hand. And I tried it today for the first time. But batting practice will get you in a, in a bad rut out here because the guy's throwing the ball right down the pipe to you. And, you know, you're supposed to hit that ball wherever you want and just about as far as you want, which doesn't do you any good. I'll say this, uh, Pete, I think it was a real big game uh, to win tonight, and uh, of course with Sandy going tomorrow, I, uh, it's going to be a little tough on him also, and uh, I just uh, I just hope that we can win at least two out of three from these guys, and I thought if we could win two out of three from these guys and, and split with uh, the Phillies, why uh, we had a good chance to go to Chicago possibly maybe four games up on uh, the Giants and uh, Pittsburgh. You know, uh, you did this last year. You're doing it all over again this year. What's the secret? Do you, does your does your metabolism speed up when you get into a pressure situation? No, uh, well, I've been playing ball a pretty good while now, and uh, it seemed that uh, the latter part of the season is when I, I really come alive. Yeah, from usually I'm not as strong as I am in uh, the earlier part of the year. Maybe that's why I make a little more contact. What did uh, you hit there, Lou? Uh, the ball I hit today was a fastball, and it was a good pitch, but uh, it didn't have as much on it that he's, he usually puts on the ball. Were you but, looking uh, for that fastball? Yeah. yeah. For it, huh? Oh, yeah. This guy, he's got a good hummer, so you got to look for it. If he throws a breaking pitch and gets you out, you just say he got you out. It's all right. Well, it is, huh? Yeah. No trouble tonight at all. Well, it's all right. You, you look to me like you're tired a little bit there, right? I felt it's like I was a little, a little tired. Uh, what caused that? Hot well, tonight. it was hot tonight, and I didn't get a chance to run the past two days uh, yeah. because of the holidays, so yeah. it might have been that a little bit. How'd you feel when Sweet Lou hit that homer? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Sandy, I asked Don last night if he felt uh, that his game was, uh, his win was the turning point, and uh, he wasn't too sure, so I'll ask you tonight. Do you think this might well, be? Well, I don't think there's a turning point. I think Don's last night is a real big ball game because uh, anytime you're playing the, the uh, the teams that you have to beat for pennant, the Giants or the Pirates, you win that first one, you can't get hurt. Uh, how, how does the team feel? Well, right we uh, feel very good. Uh, we're not uh, overconfident by any means. Uh, we feel optimistic about winning the pennant, but we feel that we'll have to do it ourselves. We can't depend on someone else uh, to beat the other clubs for us. Uh, we just have to continue to win. More if you had to pick two pluses for the Dodgers at this point, what would they be? Well, Sandy Koufax, uh, naturally, and uh, the other is, uh, I'd say, uh, 
I had to pick three. The fact that Tom, uh, I mean, Don Drysdale has uh, come back to pitch the type of baseball that uh, he's capable of pitching, and the other is, uh, is the overall uh, togetherness of the ball club, the team spirit and, uh, and uh, the ability to, for someone to always come up at the right time and get the big hit for us. It seems to me, and I, I, I'm not sure, but you correct me if I'm wrong, it seems to me this club's looser this year than it was last year. Well, I don't know. Loose is a tough term. Uh, well, there's no tension around this clubhouse. Well, I don't, think, I don't think. Uh, I don't think. I don't think the people started to cover us this early last year. Last year, we were, last year we were out of it at this time, and it was about this time that we started to get hot. And, uh, Are you willing to predict a, uh, a pennant win here, Sandy? Oh no, I'm not going to predict anything. Uh, I just hope it happens, and the earlier the better. I think. Uh, there are a couple of guys on the ball club that uh, might not be hurt by a couple of days rest before the series starts. Okay, thanks a lot. Congratulations on a good Thank win. Thank you. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>